So you're interested in incorporating a U-cut operation on your farm. Today we'll talk about some of the key points that you need to know to run a successful U-cut business. It's a hot day today, but we're ready for our U-cut. A little bit more about our U-cut. The first thing I do before people come out is we print a list off of everyone that we're going to expect to attend our U-cut. Over here at my little checkout area, I have a list. Uh, this is my list of customers that are coming today. And as customers come in the barn, this little front area up here, I greet them and I make sure that I ask for their name and I get them crossed off of the list. The next thing I do is I give them a bucket and we have these handy dandy little buckets. It is best, it's something that we've noticed, um, it's best if they cut their flowers directly into water right away. The buckets are a little big, but they're not too big. They're pretty reasonably sized for the vases that we have available. But they cut a bucket of blooms, and uh, we encourage everybody to bring their floral snips, but if they don't bring their floral snips, we have a few pairs that they can borrow. And these are the little, the little snips that we have for them to borrow. They're pretty low maintenance. They're not very expensive, so if they don't come back, it's okay. But we try to make sure that we get all of these snips back after people borrow them from us. But part of the terms and conditions that we have for coming out here is that we highly recommend people to bring their own scissors, floral snips, whatever they have available to be able to do their cutting. Another thing to note is that we only sell our U-cuts by pre-sale, so you have to make a reservation first online. And we do that for a couple of reasons. Uh, this is our home, and we kind of want to know who's coming. And doing the pre-sale allows us to know, number one, who's coming to the farm and how many to expect. You know, are we going to have 25 or are we going to have 100? So, Doing it by pre-sale only is something that we enjoy who works well for us. And it makes sure, we make sure that we have enough flowers that way, being able to pre-sale just, pre just that set amount. Yeah. That way we, we never worry about having enough flowers. We know exactly, like if we have 25 people coming to the UCAT, we know we have enough flowers to satisfy 25 people. After people get in from cutting their little buckets of blooms, we give them a little mason jar to do their little bouquets. So they transfer them from the bucket, they arrange them into this beautiful little jar, and this is what they end up taking home. What we like about these little pint-sized jars is they actually fit in a cup holder, so it makes them incredibly portable to get them home. If people want to get them home and put them in a different vase, we often encourage them to just cut their stems a little bit taller, arrange them nicely in the jar just to get them transported home to put them into the vase of their choice. It's a hot day here on the farm, so one thing that we are providing for our U-cut people is bottles of water. Um, this is extremely critical, especially on super hot days, just to be able to have a bottle of water to offer to refresh people and to keep them hydrated if they didn't come prepared with their own water bottle. However, that could be something to add into your description, you know, hey, be sure to bring a sun hat, your snips, and a water bottle to stay hydrated. Uh, but this is just a nice offering to make people really feel like they're guests at your farm. Here on the farm, we make a lot of lavender products. So with the lavender that we distill, we make several different types of lavender goods to offer. And then we have a, a variety of other products too, candles, mugs, our book that we just wrote last year, all sorts of great, really, really great things. And then um, dried lavender bunches. New this year, we actually have some picnic baskets.
It's great to provide selfie opportunities when people come out or just really great photo background ideas. And this is one of them. This is our little flower cottage and people are always out in front of this holding their flower bouquets, getting their photos taken. And I don't know what it is about sunflowers, but sunflowers are a huge draw to get people to a U-cut. I think it's that they maybe want to use it also as a photo backdrop for photos. Yeah, it's just a big bright field of sunshine. You can't go wrong with that. But every time I give my spiel, I always talk about the cut, the sunflowers for cutting being back here. We have some just for photos. Uh, but these are the good ones that they want for bouquets and they look absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. To me, sunflowers look like a, have a stars in the sky kind of look. They're beautiful. Yeah. They really are. And I don't know, it's just on trend right now. Everybody's very interested in sunflowers and this is one of the, the hooks to get people here. to think that our dogs and cats were an annoyance to people but what we found is actually having our cats and dogs out is a huge marketing opportunity people want to see the cats and the dogs uh, even more than like nobody asks about the chickens or anything they just they want to where's the cats where's your dog yeah and they're so disappointed when they don't come <laughs> out and say hi sometimes the dogs have shy days and they stay up at the house uh, and everybody's like, where's the dogs? We wanted to see your farm dogs <laughs> or the cats too. It's a big, big draw. Mm -hmm. And usually the cats really usually get into it, especially Salem and Fifi and oh, Chubby. We have our usual cat suspects who, when they know people are here, they are out here greeting and getting attention. They just, they want that attention just as much as people want to give it. We laugh because usually the cats are in a lot of photos with photographers who come <laughs> yeah. out and we feel bad, but... People get such a kick out of it. We've gotten past that point. Now we actually, yeah. we like it. And we like it that people like our, our animals. It's just another ad for you cut experience and people absolutely love the animals. Mm -hmm. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. Our spiel goes something like this. Welcome to Pepper Harrow. Are you here for the you cut today? Yes? Perfect. May I please get your name? They give me their name and I usually go in, check them off the list. Here's a bucket and a pair of snips if you need them. Oh, you already brought your snips? Perfect. <laughs> and we'll typically kind of stand, you know, when we greet people, we'll bring them out to the front here and just kind of give them the lay of the land. And uh, they're overwhelmed because there's flowers everywhere, but we really tell people that nothing's off limits. Everything is available for you to cut. They are our guests. We want them to feel welcome. So we make sure extra to call out like, this is your time. Do not rush off. Enjoy every last moment on this farm. Enjoy the rainbows, of, rainbow of colors of the flowers. Take lots of photos, have a picnic if you like. That, and that's our favorite compliment. When people bring a picnic and come and actually hang out here, we like, love it. We love it. It just, it lets us know that we're doing something right and people want to be here and they, and they don't want to leave. People do ask us though where the shady areas are. So it's always best to know where your best areas on your farm are, that people can catch a little bit of shade and enjoy a picnic lunch like that. Mm -hmm. Usually when I'm giving people the lay of the land, I use lots of descriptors to really enhance their experience here. So when I'm talking about sending them down to the annual field, I say, go down to the annual field. There is a rainbow of, of color down there. Check out the, su the cheery sunflowers in the back. It is awesome. So there's lots of words that I use to describe as I'm giving people the lay of the land that makes them feel even more like, whoa, I'm at the place. And that's the way to really engage and to maximize people's experience that they're having here on the farm during their U-cut. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the ins and outs of how we do our U-Cut. We get a lot of business type questions and we'll be putting those as an add-on on our Patreon. So that's a good opportunity for people to get 
little bit more info on how we do some stuff around here. Yeah, and especially on like the wildflower installations, y'all have been asking about that. Adam's putting together a video right now for Patreon or as a digital digital download as an e-course on our website, so check that out as well. We would absolutely love for you to become a patron and support what we're doing out here. If y'all enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that subscribe button and give us a like while you're at it. Let us know you're out there. As always, thank y'all for joining and happy growing.